Hi. Uh, we are going to do this question. And uh, I can also share with you the previous video about the protein molecules. That was a quick revision about protein molecules. Based on the theoretical knowledge of uh, that video, we are going to answer this question. So this question based on the molecule insulin. Insulin is a protein molecule. Okay, so if you look at uh, the structure of the insulin, uh, insulin has a polypeptide chain like this. And it also has a, another polypeptide chain. So this polypeptide chain, I'm showing a folding. So if a polypeptide chain folded, the resulting molecule uh, structure is called in protein tertiary structure. So this represents the tertiary structure and this represents tertiary structure. Then uh, two tertiary structures join together by chemically, for example, here one amino acid and here one amino acid and it make a disulfide bond. And here another uh, amino acid, here another amino acid and it make another sulfide bond. Then here we can also see just only a one polypeptide chain another disulfide bond. Basically, if uh, two or more, uh, more than two tertiary structures join together by chemically, we call it quaternary structure. Then insulin has quaternary structure. Hemoglobin has quaternary structure. Collagen has quaternary structure. So hemoglobin and uh, collagen we learn as uh, fibrous and uh, globular proteins and both have quaternary structure. In our lessons at Excel, we don't learn uh, structure of the insulin, but insulin uh, structure is given in the question. So as a result, you are not going to panic in the exam if you see uh, such molecules like insulin or any other molecules the molecular structure. So it is uh, important that you should know the basic, using your basic knowledge, you can understand a given molecule with the information, right? Uh, if you haven't uh, seen the previous video, I can also make the link, then you can uh, see this video on YouTube. And now we are going to uh, read the question. This is the question. Insulin is a small protein compared of two peptide chains, composed of two peptide chains. The A chain and the D chain, insulin is made from protein pro-insulin. Right? So we can see in this picture a pro-insulin. And this is the insulin, right? Another thing uh, I would like to uh, emphasize here, when you come to question uh, six, seven, eight in the paper, uh, they are quite large questions and it also brings some kind of a complexity, right? So one of the important thing, time management. So we should also consider time management. As a result, we need a quick understanding of the question. So when we want to understand the questions, the pictures help us a lot. Uh, we can understand a lot using the pictures than the text, right? So now we stop reading the text. I'm going to a uh, little bit uh, try to understand the structure of the proinsulin and insulin. Now here you can see amine N. And I told you a uh, last uh, video about the proteins. Uh, every proteins we can find uh, two ends, one is uh, N-terminal, other one is C-terminal. So this uh, single polypeptide chain has 
uh, N terminal here, C terminal here. When it making the insulin, the pro-insulin release or remove the connecting path. That is a connecting region. Uh, okay, so connecting region is this one and the connecting region is removed. After that, the insulin is made, right? So insulin has, again, uh, single polypeptide chain, another single polypeptide chain, and joined with the disulfide, three disulfide bridges. Okay, now this, after understanding the question, uh, we can go to the first part of the questions. The connecting, okay, I will enlarge this. The connecting region is removed from proinsulin, leaving the A chain connecting to B chain by disulfide bridges. SS is disulfide bridges. Which row of the table shows the position of amino group and the carboxyl group? Now, if you understand the last uh, video about uh, protein, you can easily answer this question. I told you <clears throat> protein has uh, N terminal and C terminal. Okay, now we see <clears throat> uh, how we can identify these N terminals and C terminal. Now, starting from here, uh, it shows this N nitrogen is there. So this is the N terminal. Now we can go along this uh, polypeptide chain. So we are going like this from this direction and we are coming here. When I coming to this point, uh, this side, if there's a two amino acid, then they make a peptide bond. Then this side should be C double OH and this side should be amino or amine group, then they make the bond. So again, we are going this direction to this point. So when you come to this point, uh, first, if this is a N, this should be C double OH. And the other one, which is closed here, should be amine. And we go through again to the N, and again should be C because this is the N starting point, then the N should be C. So in between, the order is same. If it is N, this N is C. And if it is C, the next one should be N because peptide bond form between these two. And then it's going again C, and then should be N. Okay, to make uh, proinsulin to insulin, this bonds break, that mean, uh, here, there is a, now it's, you can see uh, it's a bit smaller, but you can still observe. Now I remove this connecting chain and I can also remove connecting chain from this point. Okay, then uh, uh, what is resulting uh, ends? So here, C, and here, it is N. So this one is N. This is N. This is N. And this is stay as a C. And this is, this point is C. And this point, we can get again N. And here, connecting chain, this point is C. Okay. So I again highlight this one that you can see easily. So here, N, C, N, C, N, C. Now all the Ns uh, we identified now. So then uh, position uh, 
R. Here position R. It should be N. Then position P. It should be C. So then I also label the rest. If it is N, this is should be C. If this is C, this is N. So position R is N. Position R is N. Position P is C. As per that, the correct answer is A. Okay. Uh, then we are going to the next question. Next question, pro-insulin is composed of 84 amino acids. Insulin is composed of 51 amino acids. What percentage of pro-insulin is the connecting region? So uh, here, this is the insulin and it is come as like this and take a different color. Okay, it goes like this. Yes, the red color one is the uh, connecting region. Connecting region is the red color. So red color one has how many amino acid? Uh, insulin is 51. That means the blue color, the two chain has, here's a disulfide one. So this is the insulin molecule. So this insulin molecule has how many? 51 amino acid. So total is 81. Pro-insulin has 81. Now we want to find the ins amino acid of the connecting region. So I can easily do this one, 81 minus, uh, sorry, 84. This is 84 minus 51. 4 minus 1, 3, 8 minus 5, 3. So then this one has a 33 amino acid. So now you can clear 33 plus 51 can give 84. So 51 is an amino acid of insulin. 33 is a connecting region. Now we have to express it as a percentage of pro-insulin is the connecting region. So total is 84. Out of this 84, then 33 is the connecting region. Now multiply by 100. Now use calculator for that. 33 divided by 84. Multiply by 100. So it is 39.2%. 33 divided by 84 multiplied by 100. 39.28. So we have to check now uh, any specification given uh, that mean uh, significant figures or rounding the numbers. What is the percentage of pro-insulin is the connecting region. So I got 39.28, uh, 39.28 39 is the answer. As uh, it doesn't say anything uh, to a roundup. So anything will be okay. So it is actually 39.28. So I can uh, write 39.28 uh, or I can round it up to 39. Or 39.3%. Uh, so there's no uh, strict rule in this case. 
So we can write like this. Next one, there are three disulfide bridges in insulin. Each disulfide bridge is formed between the R groups of two cysteine and uh, cysteine amino acid. Give the ratio of amino acid forming the disulfide bridge in to the, uh, give the ratio of amino acid forming disulfide bridges in insulin to those not forming disulfide bridges in insulin. Okay. Uh, so I used the same thing here again. Now here is the amino acid cysteine. And here amino acid cysteine. Between these two, there is a disulfide bridge here. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Now how many amino acid involved to make the disulfide bridges? Six. So insulin has 51 amino acid. Insulin has 51 amino acid. Insulin has 51 amino acid. Now you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six. Six amino acid are involved to make the disulfide bridges. And how many amino acid not make disulfide bridges? We can easily calculate 51 minus six. 45. So 6 make the disulfide bridges, 41 doesn't make the dis 45 doesn't make the disulfide bridges. Now we have to express this as a ratio. So to express the ratio, we have to first look uh, what is given in the question. That means first uh, I should focus on the Amino acid forming disulfide bridges. So amino acid forming disulfide bridges is six. Not forming disulfide bridges is 45. So it is six to 45. Okay, now uh, what should I do? So I can uh, divide this side by 45, this side by 45. Then it's one, uh, then uh, six, let's see six divided by, six divided by 45. It's a 0 0.1333, 0 0.1333. So answer is, One to zero point one three. Okay, here again, uh, there is no strict rules given for the answer. As a result, one can also argue uh, we can do like this six to forty five. So then this side divided by six is one. And 45 divided by 6, uh, 45, I use the calculator, divided by 6, 7.5. Yes. Uh, one can also answer like this way. So then uh, this also correct answer. Okay, let's proceed to the next uh, questions of the same uh, question. The other part, C part, 